He walks like that. Yes, like that. He has spent a lot of years going in that way. But this has never stopped him from making the hives, maintaining big colonies, climbing and harvesting honey. Yet, he's disabled. He says he would do each and everything for the family. Wa Maria Francine. Wa Maria Francine. Uziel is a 41-year-old grown man. He says he was not born disabled. He was born normal, healthy, and strong. According to what parents said, when he reached between age 6 and 7, that's when he suffered an unknown disease that left him disabled for the rest of his life. Parents said, I woke up one day and went fetching water down in the valley. Coming from the valley, my body was so weak that there was nothing else I would do. Instead, I went straight to the bed, yet it was not sleeping hours. Parents wondered what had gone wrong with me. After parents saw him developing unusual signs, the decision was won. It was taking him to the nearby hospital. He was treated, but still no positive outcome. Instead, his leg muscles started being stiff. He became worse to the point that his body became as stiff as a tree. At that time, he could no longer turn himself around. That mysterious illness shocked parents, doctors and other people. After his body started folding itself, he was even given physiotherapy, but still he could not heal. What he did was teaching himself to adapt to this life and to pretend as if nothing happened. This illness never healed and he ended up becoming like this for the rest of his life. Due to too much bullies and always shown by the society that he was inferior, he says meeting this woman made him believe that miracles still exist. <laughs> I tell you the way we met was miraculous. I even can't explain how we met. We met when she was with his parents in the field cultivating together. We never knew each other. We just met that day with her parents and talked. But seeing her, oh, oh my God. I could see that she was the most beautiful creature my eyes has ever glanced. I had already liked her and prayed should come alone the next time. To him, he says, what God does is amazing. After two days, he passed where he met the girl and boom, this time she was alone. So he took this occasion and talked to her. He told the girl everything from his heart and the girl looked at him and laughed so loud. <laughs> I could see she was somewhat surprised. The way she laughed showed she never expected such to happen. But I was keen on loving her. As she kept coming, I told her how I really loved her. I could not see this coming true, though I could see that she somehow was not interested. She thought maybe I was joking. This could discourage me at one point, but by God's mercy, she finally said yes. And we live together. We now have four children. 
Uziel is one of a kind that testifies disability is not inability. Although he's this disabled and walks as you see, he's a beekeeper. He's a beekeeper and has been keeping bees for a long period of time. He says after finding himself disabled, he thought of what to do and among many options, he went for beekeeping. It's not an easy job even for many normal people, but since he was committed to doing this and with the reference from the father who also did the same for a living, he managed to do this. He does everything related to beekeeping and does them even more better. To him, he can do each and everything that can help him earn money. Due to getting used to beekeeping, he only covers the face when harvesting pounds of honey. According to him, the strategy he uses here is not being afraid to these bees. He says the moment bees realize you are somehow afraid, they sting you up to death. So the deal here is to pretend you're okay. This man says he will not give time the lazy mentality, rather as a man he had to fight and fight for a living and this has paid. He provides for both himself and the four children. He says that as long as the head function he is ready to even do more. He is a person who wants to always learn and know more. He recently studied and acquired shoe repairing skills. Now he can repair and even make shoes of all kind only that the barrier remains having no enough capital to establish his own business. The wife says she met a lot of men who had everything a woman can desire including money, properties and many more but she chose to spend the rest of his life with Uziel though it was not easy due to her parents who never liked this guy. She said if she knew they would react like the way they reacted, she would have never broke the silence. All family members starting from the father, the brother, uncles, aunties and many more, all went against the idea of seeing their daughter getting married to a disabled person. They told the daughter that it's better to remain unmarried and spend the rest of her life home than spend the rest of your life with a person who cannot even walk. They pointed at one thing, he will not be able to provide for the family and all will be done by the wife. After everyone went against her, she felt discouraged but still loved the man. She was depressed, wondering what to choose. Later, by God's mercy, her mother came to her and said, if you both love each other, get married. She said, get married. And she repeated. She's the only one among a family with a lot of family members. She said, it's your right to love who you want. And she blessed them. She then went and lived with the man, but it was not easy. At first, she was the only one working and she could see that it was too much for her to handle alone. Time came and she even wanted to go back home. But then she realized she vowed to loving him in whatever conditions, whether bad or good. She honestly says she struggled. But as long as she loved the man, it was not easy. They cooperate in whatever they have. The wife has to go cultivate for different people so as to earn for the family. Other friends would always come visit her not in a way of showing love but to make sure she made the wrong choice and making fun of her that she never listened to parents and now she's facing consequences they said. But she knew she was doing the right thing. She remained loving the husband and says she will never ever give up on him no matter what.
seeing the way this man walks, you can see that he immediately needs a wheelchair in his daily activities. You can help Uziel get a wheelchair by contributing via a GoFundMe link found in description and pinned in top comments. Hard work is the most important key to success. Without being willing to work hard and put everything into a venture, success is nearly impossible. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.